Hi guys, Jorge with you again. All right, so in the last uh, few videos, we've been taking a look at how to set up uh, the grade book in Blackboard. Uh, we took a look at how to log in, how to set the term dates in video one. In video two, we took a look at uh, how to set up, uh, let me find my notes here, uh, the column organization, right? How to make the, uh, the grade book look a little bit nicer. All right, we'll take a look at a, a little bit more column organization uh, at the end of this video. Uh, we took a look at how to set up our categories in Blackboard. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at uh, how to set up for total points. So if you are a total points teacher like I am, uh, this is what the, the, these are the steps that you would need to, uh, to complete uh, in order to set up your, your grade book uh, uh, correctly on Blackboard, right? So again, j j just in case you're not sure, right, total points uh, uh, grading is just what it sounds like, right? So a student uh, has a homework assignment that's worth 10 points, um, a test that is worth 100 points, a quiz that is worth 25 points, all right, class participation that is worth five points or whatever it is, right? And basically what you do is you take all the points that the student earned regardless of what the assessment type was, uh, divide it by the total number of potential points, all right? And that's your average. That's your total points uh, grading system, all right? So it's nice and easy uh, to set up. Um, it's, I find that, you know, some students... Uh, it's a little bit easier for them to figure out, you know, what the what their grade is, and so they, don't, they don't have to do a whole lot of uh, of higher math. Um, so, you know, that's that's what I'm comfortable with uh, in 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 doing, uh, you know, in my classrooms. Um, you know, not to not to deride the uh, the weighted averages teachers or anything like that. You guys have your own systems, all right. So, uh, and it works for you. So, you know, whichever way it works is fine. Uh, but this discussion is the total points discussion. If you are a weighted average teacher, you do not have to watch this. So there you go. You don't have to listen to me clear my throat for the next uh, five or six minutes. All right, you can go ahead and skip ahead to the part five uh, weighted averages video. All right. All right, so for the total points uh, people that are still with me, all right, here we go. So I'm going to go over to... Um, to Blackboard, all right, I'm already in the grade center. All right, so basically the way that total points works in Blackboard, and I haven't really figured out a way around this, is we really need two columns uh, to figure out a total points uh, grading system. All right, so we need to create the first column, which is the total points for the quarter. How many total points did the student earn? you know, out of a potential, you know, number of, of points, obviously. And then what's, what is that average? Okay, so we're going to create two columns here. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to create a calculated column. So I'm, I mouse over that. And what I don't want to do is I want to create a total column. So I click on total column. Okay, and then what is my column name? All right, so my column name is going to be just that. All right, so, um, you know, first quarter, all right, uh, total points. Okay. I don't need to give it, you know, a description or anything like that. The primary display is going to be score. So we take a look at the different score types. All right, we are a percentage school. All right, we're not a letter, a letter a school or any, a complete and complete school. All right, so um, so the only two primary displays that we will use is either score or percentage. Because this is a total points column, uh, it needs to be score. Okay, don't worry about secondary display. The grading period, what's this, you know, which grading period is this for? It's going to be for the first quarter. So we're going to select the first quarter grading period, okay? And then in select columns, all right, the grades that we want to appear, all right, in this column is all the grade columns in grade period first quarter, okay? 
So that's, that's basically it. We do want to calculate this as a running total. In other words, we want to, uh, this column is going to be updated every time that a new grade gets, uh, gets put in, a new grade column gets put into uh, Blackboard. Okay. And then in terms of options, we do want the grade column in, in the grade uh, center calculations, right? We do want to show this column to students, you know, which is a good idea. I always, I always leave that uh, set up to yes so that they can see how many points they've earned. Okay, they don't have to necessarily do the math. All right, and then I do not want to show my students what the averages are for this uh, you know, for this column. In other words, you know, their grade is their grade. They don't need to know, uh, you know, where, you know, some of the other students might be in terms of averages and, and that sort of thing. All right, so I leave these options as uh, set to default. So I'm going to go ahead and click Submit at this point. All right, and in my uh, grade book, now you can see that I have a first quarter total points uh, column all set up. All right. The next thing that I want to do then is I want to set up the average column. What is the student's average for this class? All right, for this quarter. All right. So we're going to create a calculated column again. And I'm going to set up an average column this time. So I click on average column. What's my title going to be? First, right, quarter grade, average, you know, whatever you want to call it, grade percentage, you know, whatever you want to call the column, that, that's up to you. All right, again, I don't need a description. The primary display is a percentage. This time it is a percentage. Okay. The dates, the grading period is still first quarter. What columns are going to be in this grade? Okay, so now... Uh, what we need to do here is we need to select columns and categories, okay? The reason why we set up that first quarter total points column before is so that we have a summary of all of the points that that student has earned for the quarter. So I'm going to base my average calculation on that column, all right? So again, what we do is we click on selected columns and categories, and then columns to select up in the top section up here, I'm going to select first quarter total points. Okay, so make sure that that is highlighted. And then I'm going to hit this single arrow over here to move that column over to the right. Okay, so you can see that the column to select is no longer here. It is now here. Okay. Calculate as a running total. Yes, I want this grade to update every time that any changes to the grade book are made. And then the options are going to be the same. Include this column in grade center calculations. Yes. Show this column to students. Yes. I do not want my students uh, to see the class averages or any of that stuff. And I'm going to click submit. Okay, so now in my Gradebook, I have the two calculated columns that I created, my first quarter total points and my first quarter grade. All right, so usually what I do at this point is I go in and I rearrange the columns so that the first column after last access is their grade, is their average. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Manage, and I want Column Organization. All right, so Manage, Column Organization, takes me to this screen, okay? In a previous video, all right, you, uh, we were talking about, uh, you know, reorganizing the, uh, the, the views in uh, the Grade Center, okay? You can see that the columns that we hid username, student ID, and availability are still here. They're just hidden. All right, so if I ever need for the gradebook to show the student ID, you know, I can always just, you know, unhide it. Okay. Uh, if I want 
my grade book to have the student's first name first, right? I could rearrange uh, these columns here. Okay, how they, you know, what the view is. To, to move a column, all you need to do is, um, is uh, uh, place your mouse over the, uh, the bullseye there, the little uh, cross hatches there. All right, uh, click and drag to whatever position you want it to be, right? So here I have it now set up as first name, last name. Okay, I'm a last name, first name kind of guy, so I'm going to go ahead and put that back. Okay. I can also organize how the, uh, the display of the quarters is. Okay, so here, anything in the second quarter would come before anything in the first quarter. And that's usually what I do is I try to keep the most current quarter to the left in my gradebook. All right, which might seem a little um, counterintuitive. You know, most of us like to, like to read from left to right, but I like to be able to get to the grade book and see the quarter that I'm in. Okay, so uh, because there is no information in the second quarter right now, I don't really have to worry about that, but I can always go back and change that later if I want. I can reorganize these, um, these, these sections. Okay. What I do want to do, though, is I do want to have in my grade book I want the first quarter grade percentage to be the first column uh, shown. All right, so in other words, I'm going to have the a student's last name, uh, the student's first name, his uh, last login date, and then the percentage. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, I'm going to click and pull this first quarter grade percentage up one. So my first column in the gradebook should be first quarter grade percentage. And then the second column in my gradebook should be first quarter total points. Okay. Not in a grading period. We'll talk about that uh, later. All right. As um, it's a good idea to come into the column organization view every once in a while. Because sometimes what will happen is that you'll, you'll put an assignment in Blackboard. But... Uh, for one reason or another, Blackboard will not assign that assessment to any particular quarter. So we, uh, it is in this screen that we would then... Okay, sorry for the interruption there. So as I was saying, it is in this screen that we would then select the assessments that we want, and then we would click on Change Grading Period 2, uh, and, uh, and, and, and place it in wh whichever uh, quarter it belongs. All right, so in terms of our column organization, right, so we're done with that. We're going to go ahead and submit, and we're going to go take a look at our changes. All right, so here we go. All right, here is my um, grade book as it appears right now, right? Last name, first name, last access. First quarter grade percentage is the first calculated column and then first quarter total points is the second calculated column all right now this last bit is very important because what we want to do is we want to push this first quarter grade percentage column to power school every night okay so again uh, the theory is that power school should only have the current quarterly grade not the grade breakdown, not any detail associated with the grade. PowerSchool is only going to have a single number in it, and that's the student's quarterly grade. All right. So what we want to do is we want to set this first grade percentage, first quarter grade percentage. All right. I'm going to hit the down arrow. All right. And I'm going to set as external grade. I'm going to click on that option. Okay, you will see a little green check mark next to that column. Okay, and then if you just mouse over that, it says external grade. So every night, or really it's every morning at like, you know, three or four o'clock in the morning, all right, Blackboard pushes this number. So whatever number is in here, that number gets pushed over to PowerSchool, and it will overwrite 
the previous day's um, uh, grade. Okay, so uh, the grade on PowerSchool will always be, um, you know, or, or could be up to 24 hours old if, a, if, a, if it's before the push. All right, so what I always tell my students is the grade book is set up in Blackboard. Uh, if you want to see a live grade at any point, go to Blackboard. If you want to see an archived grade, which could be up to 24 hours old, you can go to PowerSchool, right? So it's usually better to see the live grade. What's my grade as of this moment in time right now? Okay. So uh, that's basically it for setting up our grade book uh, using total points. All right. Um, it's, you know, again, with total points, we need two columns. All right. One to create a total points. Right. What is the actual total value, you know, that the student has earned? And then what is the average based on that uh, total points system? In the next video, we're going to take a look at weighted averages. Again, if you're a total points guy, you're done. You don't have to listen to another video. If you are a weighted points person and you sat through this video, God bless you. Uh, we're going to take a look at how to set up weighted averages in the next video. All right. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in a bit.